If your control arms are not damaged, you can easily press out the old bushings and press in the Renline monoball. For this project, we are adding them to new control arms for part of our suspension refresh. Here you can see all of the rubber in the bushing that can and will deflect under loads, red arrow. With the Renline monoball, red arrow, beside it, you can see how eliminating the rubber in the bushing eliminates the deflection in the arm, keeping your suspension geometry set. The bearing is also sealed to prevent premature wear. To start, you're going to have to remove the original bearing. Start by locking the arm in your vise. Take a punch and working the way around the lip of the bearing, start tapping down until the lip starts to separate from the arm. Red arrows. Once you have moved the lip enough that you can get a bearing splitter in between the bearing and the arm, install the splitter and continue tapping. Move the splitter around the bearing to make sure you are removing it from the arm evenly. Keep tapping and moving the splitter until the bearing, red arrows, comes out from the arm. The bearing is in two parts and half will still be in the other side of the arm, blue arrow. Perform the same procedure on the other side. Here you can see the stock bearing beside the Renline monoball. Use your snap ring pliers and remove the snap ring from the monoball, red arrow. The inner metal puck and seal can be removed while pressing the bushing into the arm. Inspect the control arm for any damage. You will notice one side is beveled, red arrow. This is the side you want to use to press the monoball in from. Make sure that the arm is level and properly supported. Then using a bearing puck, press the bearing in. In this image, we press the bearing in and then supported the arm with a socket that cleared the monoball to finish the press. This gave us enough room on the other side of the arm for the monoball to clear the arm and allow for the snap ring to be installed. Make sure the snap ring is fully seated in the groove. Here you can see the finished installation and the difference between the two bearings. The arm is now ready to be installed back into the subframe. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.